One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666, and you are watching me play the Guild Wars 2 Living Story. We are back out here in the Drizzlewood Coast, fighting the fight. Oh my. I, I reloaded the game to uh, patch it and update it so it stops shouting at me every five minutes, and everything is different now. The enemy has taken over. Anyways, we're here fighting Bangar's forces, and we have just returned from a uh, little mission to uh, raid Steel Warband's hidden base here, where we uh, succeeded in capturing Cinder Steel. I forget his forget her name, but uh, yeah, she's one of Ryland's officers. I think his second in command. So yeah, we've captured her and are going to. Uh, Try to use her as a bargaining chip against him. Anyways, I'm going to go back and meet Smoter at the Umbro Grotto, and we're going to make a goddamn mess of things. Because Smoter really wants to make a goddamn mess of things. That'll create a distracting piece of cover so Malice Sword Shadow can, uh, you know, get the message to Rylan about, Oh ho ho, we've got your friend! You better come alone if you want to ever see uh, see her again. Take it all. Excuse me, spider. Anyways, let's go back and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get in with uh, this motor. You're probably sitting here thinking, sir, why didn't you just take the waypoint? Well, I could have, but I didn't. This isn't Final Fantasy XIV where I have a thousand free travel Say tickets. What you want about his politics. Hello, Smoter. Ah, Commander. I've got new orders for you. Orders? Salvage and requisitions. Not the most glamorous, but necessary if we're going to win this war. What are we salvaging? We've crippled submarines off the port. Retrieve intact torpedoes for our ordnance cache. End any Dominion you encounter. Also, we've seized plans for an enemy weapon. This may be a challenge, but you'll need to assemble it. Once you manage that, I'll send someone to collect it. They're supposed to be creating diversions, keeping Dominion attention on us instead of malice. You'll make plenty of noise, Brimstone. Destroy any enemy vehicles you come across and recover their parts. Materiel often has far greater value than ranks on the ground. Gears over grunts, I like to say. You say a lot. And after we're done with this salvage mission? I'll share next steps when appropriate. Keep me apprised. Well, I'm gonna guess after we're done with this salvage mission, you have your assignment. Every minute you waste brings the Dominion closer to winning. Got it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that once we're done salvaging the mission... been dealing with that guy for months. Can't believe she hasn't throttled him. Well, she did work beside Bangar for years. Yeah, let's just get this done. We're gonna take all these munitions we salvage and this weapon we build, and we're gonna use it to make a big noisy goddamn mess of things, if I had to hazard the guess. Anyways, where are we off to? Oh, out in the water. Go into the water! Live there! Die there! The Overlook is controlled by Dominion forces. Well, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. What do we got here? A whole bunch of winter root vegetables and blackberries. I'm gonna harvest all this shit, thank you. I'll take that. And 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 that. And
I have harvested all your harvestables. Now the Dominion will go hungry. Port Cascadia. Trying to hit me and hit me. You missed. Avenge me. Come on. Stop bleeding, self. Shake it off. I must fly my dragon. That's a lot of people there. I must escape into the water. Careful. They've been knocked around a lot. I don't trust those torpedoes not to explode. Shake it off. Tell you what, it's nice coming back to this and actually having things to do underwater. Say so Final Fantasy XIV has underwater, but so far as I've played into it, you don't do a lot underwater. There's definitely no under there's no underwater uh, combat. The transition from above water to underwater is nowhere near as smooth as it is in this game. I have stab murdered the shark. Alright, let's salvage the ammo. Oh, there's buttons I have to push. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's a Simon Says button game. Alright, I've got some ordnance. Oh shit, is this ready to train up? It is. Haha! -ha! EMP. Stun and damage enemies within a medium radius, slow enemies within a large radius, deal bonus defiance bar damage. Alright, let's start training the remote charge. Well, I must pick this up at, uh, at those way stations in the camps. Two munitions from submarines. Hey, Smoter, you've recovered the torpedoes. Good to see you can work unsupervised. Oh no, he's supervised. We're allies, not lackeys. You're a soldier in the field, Tribune. Do the job. You can take that job and We'll call you when the next task is done. Yeah, Ritlock, you totally still need supervision. That's why I'm here! <laughs> Go away, Skelk. I will taunt you a second time. Those are mines. Do they blow up if I touch them? Yes. Good. <laughs> Didn't seem to do much, but it still blew up as a sea mine properly should. Alright, where are we off to next? Two different places, two different things. A thing up there and a thing down there. Well, let's do the up there thing. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Ooh, Ori node. Don't mind if I do!
not self. I need to start playing again and get back and get the under underwater swimming ability for my. Uh... That's on. I know I want to call it a tank because they call them tanks. It's not really a tank. Did it just fucking flop over on me? Break your car. Thank you. Shake it all. I will remove you. All right, let's salvage parts from this thing. As soon as the AOEs go off, we... or not. Sweet. All right, I'll take those parts. Let's go find another car to wreck up. Just salvage the same one over and over again. Oh no. It's definitely not salvageable again. Hey, look, there's a car. Parts. Thank you. All right, one more car to find. Another speaker to break. Excuse me, speaker. Speaker, no speaking. As we speak, we turn to stone. I think that's the lyrics. Look. Flaming wheelie. Oh, the scout died. Car died. I said, salvage the salvagey bits. Motor. We finished collecting the car parts. Yes, I heard. What are you gonna use all that scrap for anyway? It would take too long to explain it to you. Just worry about your mission. Can't imagine why so many iron keep jumping ship. Shake it off. Yeah, I can do a block thing too. Hey. All right, now we've just got one more thing to do. That is stop bleeding everywhere. That is to go fix this weapon. Float over the mine. <laughs> it's probably the reason why they're there, is to hit people floating over on their skimmers. Can I de-aggro? Thank you. I mean, the real reason they're there is to, you know, mash up submarines. But they work well against people and their skimmers as well. Chest. 
Uh, let's just straight up spit up a dark steel and get. Yeah, I almost said, oh, hi, Ritlock, what are you doing here? But I remembered, oh, wait, he's following me. Don't give him a fun, have him ride him out like I do when I ride him out to, you know, make a little more immersive sense, but whatever. All right. I do believe I am being shelled. All right. Shake it off. Experimental weapon parts. That sounds fun. A note left on top of the weapon reads, The researchers down there must be half a sir. I can't make horns or tails out of this. Color code or not, all these parts just look like levers. Keep reading the notes. I just remember them saying, Firing means fire. Elevate means to the sky. Burn me. Is that code? Are they iron or ash legion? Those do sound like instructions, however. Firing means fire. Elevate means to the sky. Let's attempt to fix it. There are three parts. Firing lever, elevation crank, breach slide. Three color-coded areas of the weapon. Firing means fire, elevation to the sky. So fire is red, the sky is blue. Let's try that. Firing red, elevation blue, breach green. Motor, the Dominion weapon is functional. Now that took you about as long as I thought it would. Carry on, Commander. Thanks. Commander, remove the bench. There's more to be done. <sighs> Care to elaborate? When you need to know. Almost ready. <laughs> all right. Excuse me. Take it all. So, what are we doing? Salt the pet trash, overlook. And aggro to myself. Excuse me! All right, where are we headed now? Back to Smoter. That's an artillery game. I want to fit that in my pocket. Counter batteries some snipers with this thing. Hey, I can salvage the wreckage. Cool. Alright, back to Smoter. Oh, Smoter! Are we going to Smode things? Smode. First, I'm gonna go talk to the fancy table. Is she gone? Say what you want about his politics. And I will say what I want about his politics. Contact Chopper. Oh, I can pick an EMP for ten whole things. Gives me three EMP charges. Okay. You would chase that tail. Smoter, what's up? Smoter, you need to be properly armed for your next assignment. Shaman, where's the crystal? Right next to you. It's not ready yet. You were given a direct order. Since you don't have a conventional Imperator, maybe you've forgotten what that means. Sir, your orders were, and I quote, to add a flame boost to iron munitions. Priority one, you said. I haven't had the time or extra energy to power the crystal as well. 
I need solutions, not excuses, soldier. Give them the crystal as is. A flame core could complete the charging process. Where can we find one of those? A few of our shamans joined Dominion. They use the cores to fuel their burning effigies. Excellent. You have your next mission. See to it, Commander. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, I have to send an important text message. And I cannot spell. I am bad at spelling on my phone because I fat finger all the buttons. Anyways. So, we need to go get a flame core from an effigy or ritual. Where can we find an effigy or ritual? Why, somewhere hiding up there. Let's go then! Hey, look, that looks like an effigy. Let's kill it. Well, an effigy scrap. Hi, effigy scrap. Look for a flame core. Wreckage sits a glowing orb and is warm to the touch. Florida, we've got a flame core. Get it to the nearest munitions shop in ASAP. Time's coming when we'll need that crystal at full power. Find a flame munitions expert to charge the crystal. You snipe at me, sniper. Hello, rich Mithrovain. See, that should, like, kill me right there, flying through the chopper blades like that. All right, munition specialist. Have this thing. 
You're back! You have the flame core! Give it here and I'll infuse it. Here you go! Commander, once the crystal's charged, report to me for your target. Where are we headed? A traitor gave Dominion all they need to build a weapon we can't afford to leave in their hands. I've got a location on their supply bunker. Make your way there and await instructions. It's done. Hopefully that will please the Iron Imperator, if he can be pleased. Thank you for all your help. All right, where are we going next? We are going... I don't know. We don't know where we're going. We have no way of knowing. Out there. We do have a way of knowing. I just have to look at the map properly, ladies and gentlemen. this artillery cannon. Don't know if that actually did anything useful to it. Hooray, I helped, I think. Oh, there's no scrap pile this time. Boo. this vent. So no, it's not that cog. Did you hear a voice? Not sure. Thought he said this was a supply bunker. Smoter, what exactly does this crystal do again? Destroy Dominion's ability to use iron resources against us. As I said. Yeah, but how? With a really big boom. You wanted a distraction? This is it. Stop wasting time and drop the grenade. I don't like this. Something feels off. This is war, Commander. We do what's necessary or we lose. Stupid smart player pours out of a large vent. Let's refuse to drop it. It sounds like there's people down there. It's the best cover we can give Kree and Malice. somewhere. Let's go! It was a super grenade. Oh. Hello, giant door. What have we done? What have we done? This is not how we save the char. Smoter, the supply depot was fully staffed. Yes, people are a resource. <laughs> you bastard. There's no time to be squeamish. We need to get serious if we're going to win. This can't be who we are. Not again. I'll check the bodies. Could be survivors. We can't kill people in war. That's, uh, but we've been killing people. Hi, corpse. Give me some space, Commander. I'll let you know when I've got something for you. You got it. Can I check the corpse? Corpse of a char impaled on a spike. Lots of crystally stuff in here. That's not a good sign. Damaged invention. Corpses look unarmed. The uniforms are military, but nothing else makes them seem like soldiers. Strange device. Assuming that ozone 
that you just smell didn't come from that crystal bomb. Oh, the bo crystals came from the bomb. Okay. It seems this was an active workshop, not a supply barracks. Supply crate. The inventions scattered around the room don't look like any you've seen before. This might have been a research and development group. Odd yeah. schematics. From what you can see among the chaos... Commander. There's no one left alive. A lot of the inventions looked well structured and nearly complete. Something you imagined Smoter would not appreciate. I better check in with Ritlock and see what he found. Everything I'm seeing says this is more than just a supply bunker. As far as I can tell, they were doing some sort of weapons R&D. Smoter wasn't lying about that, at least. Doesn't make me feel any better. This won't either. I recognize her. She's one of Malice's personal guards. And she's carrying the Ash Imperator's sigil. That's an order to defect. Could Malice be playing both sides? She's Ash. We've got to warn Kree. Let's not jump to conclusions. Kreesha? Great timing, Commander. Malice got that message to Ryland. He's agreed to another parlay. Meet us at the hidden base. We can't talk about this over comms. I don't trust Malice. And I sure as hell don't trust Smoter. We'll pull Kreesha aside after. Let's handle Ryland first. Okay. Pull the stop on Brent. Hello, Char Corpse. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap it up for this part now because, well, it's that time and this is like the perfect place to do it again. So, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing, am I doing good, am I doing bad, if I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good, or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because, well, I just blew all these people up and they weren't soldiers at all, they were just R&D, and this isn't how we save the char, and I don't know. We're fighting a war. People die in a war. I mean, I don't know. Everybody distrusts each other now. This is all probably more of Jormag's sneaky whisperings and, and sneaky voices and whatnot. I don't know. Things are a mess. It's war. War is messy. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this bad little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this bad little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NanoElite666, as I will be using that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. I am Nano Elite 666, and I will see you all next time. So, Legion forces are ready to launch an attack on Port Cascadia. Huzzah!